Welcome to Domination. Uh, this game I know you haven't seen. Why? Because it isn't released. And I was getting early access from the developer, so shout out to the developer. The big thing in this game is the borders are organic. They move with your country. So when you invade someone, it automatically moves. It is some of the coolest borders things I've ever seen in a game. So let's get into it. So there's a difficulty and uh, let's just go straight into a hard nation. Let's play Saudi Arabia. So with this game, you can see all the nations here and you can see we have some allies. The big thing in this is the GDP. You have a budget that you have to spend and all that research and development. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We're going to invade some nations. Okay, so we're here in the start and I gotta say, who do we want to take out? Uh, we kind of want to take out Qatar because they have no military, but they have a good economy. Will that make some people mad? Maybe. But let's go ahead and invade Qatar right here because, it, you know, we uh, are coming for that oil. We are the oil barons. And you can see us invading. It's red. And look at the border just moves like this. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. So what I learned is you really want to go after people with a good uh, GDP. That's really the name of the game. But you also kind of want to go after weak people. And Africa is definitely one of those people. So we can, if we want to, go after some uh, African nations. But there's one person I want to go after, and that's Singapore. So we're going to fly all the way to Southeast Asia and go after Singapore. Because uh, they have a huge uh, uh, GTB for how small they are. So we're really going to take advantage of that. Oh no, Russia's invading Ukraine and their Ukraine has no mil well maybe the EU isn't helping them yeah the EU's not helping them well we'll pretend like we didn't see that yeah Japan took out Singapore so we can't go after them so we probably want to go after some African nations but not anyone with a huge military and someone with not a lot of power so we can also check uh, based on their military who we want to go after and it looks like Iran Iran doesn't have a military already. The US went straight for Iran. Actually, let's take it back and go after Iran while we're here. And then we'll go after South Africa. Because Iran is uh, is dead. They're not going to make it. So we might as well uh, piggyback on the US. As you can see, our border is growing. Oh, it just looks, it's so satisfying. But the problem is, you see the United States is getting a border here. So uh, there's some horrible uh, border gore in this game. I mean, it's some of the worst border gore out of any game I've ever seen. This program is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion advised. Okay. Oh, it looks like we're actually going to pick up a lot of Iran, which is good. Getting our GDP up. Uh, we're actually playing as the 18th most powerful nation, so it's going to be uh, pretty hard to try to win this. Okay. Oh, no. Look at Africa. Africa is literally getting destroyed by all of the European nations. I Peru's I even I over here. Lebanon's over here. Oh, no. Focus our attention right there. Because it really matters on what area because each little land is part of the GTP. So you don't want to just get any territory. Some territory is better than others. But as you can see, Africa is just getting torn up here. It's pretty bad. Like, it's it's really bad. Uh, usually the big people that do this is the uh, United States, as you can see. Russia's here. China's probably over here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. North Korea, it's... A lot of people over here are destroying it. Japan's kind of usually a baddie here. They usually mess with Southeast Asia, which, you know, makes sense. Um, I think we might go after Malaysia at some point. As you can see, Russia is currently invading as well. So we have to be careful for them not to get the territory we want. Did anyone else just declare war on us? Ooh, Yemen's at war with us. So we'll take out Yemen as well. Um... I'm just trying to take some of the hot spots that I remember in South Africa. And it looks like we did get most of the good territory. Russia got some good territory up here. The green is the good territory. And that's why I sent this guy down here to pick up this. Now we're almost at 3.5. We're really, we're really doing good. We're really doing solid with um, the uh, GTP. Let's get up up here. It looks like Yemen's actually maybe invading us, which is not very good. Unless those are peasants. No, those are tanks in our territory. Are they getting divided right now? Yeah, they are getting divided. Uh, it's, who's in the top? Is it United States or China? Yeah, so we pretty much have to beat United States and China and Saudi Arabia. It's not super easy, but I know we can get the job done. Oh, Somalia? So I've see, we can go after Somalia. They only have a million troops. So the problem is they only have 5k GPA. Like what, 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 uh, GPA? Well, we're not in school. GDP. 
Oh, I hope I haven't been singing GPA the whole entire video. That would be embarrassing. Usually Russia falls too. I, you gotta pay attention to the big guys, because sometimes the big guys, they use too much of their military, and then you can just sweep them up from there. Um, that's kind of something I always watch for. North Korea is not looking good, but the problem is North Korea is almost always friends with China. They don't look like it today. So going after North Korea might be a plan. Oh, we could go after Australia. But the problem with going after Australia, I've always learned, is once you go after Australia, everyone else will follow you. Okay, I think it's time we take our military and we go after Malaysia. Because the United States is invading Malaysia, so I think it's our time to in invade Malaysia too. Will we f get over there in time? I think we might. But yeah, see, we didn't get much of the good territory. All the good territory is already kind of gone. You kind of want to be the first person to invade. That's why I think it's time we go after the big Australia. Do I like going after big Australia? Yeah, I do this almost every game I play. They're just super big and have a good GTP and territory. It makes me feel more powerful. Pretend we're the emus. If we embody the emus, we should be able to take them out pretty easily. You know, as long as we pretend to be emus, there's nothing that should stop us. Looks like Indonesia is coming to their aid. That's what you gotta be careful about, is when a nation comes to their aid. Um, because when a nation comes to their aid, it's no, no, not very good. So we just lost a huge part of our military, which is not very good, because Indonesia yeeted themselves into us. Okay, but we're getting a decent amount of power out of this, so that's good. All of Egypt, I mean all of Egypt, all of Oh, there's their army. Army is more powerful. This is I don't want to get destroyed by them. I'm trying to pick up the coastline. I might actually pick up the coastline here, all the good spots, and then leave. Because Indonesia is like hunting me in their territory. Is Indonesia at war with anyone else? Oh, they're at war with the United States. That's really good for me. Uh, I don't think we're going to avoid them here. Oh, barely. Armies just gave by at each other. Oh, France is at war with us? Oh, France. How'd this happen? France still in the EU? Yeah, France is still in the EU, so I don't really want to go in their territory because I think we'll still be mad at us. I think we win. It's just that they're really whittling down our troops, too. And that's the big problem, is that our troops are getting absolutely yeeted into. I think we'll just take the rest of Australia now. We're at 6%. What are we ranked now? We're ranked number 8. That's pretty good. We're actually higher than Russia. Yeah, Indonesia is going to run out of troops, I think, because they keep on eating themselves into us. We're going to get most of Australia for sure. Is New Zealand still around? No, New Zealand's not around. Japan is practically dead. Ooh, is anyone invading Japan? Oh, Japan's at war with... Like, Japan has no friends. But I think after Australia, I think we should go after Japan, actually. Yeah, Japan has, like, no army. That's gonna shoot up our GDP, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, my goodness. I feel like we just went up, like, 2%. Oh, man. We just went to third- we just went to third place because of Japan. And we're, we're raking in the cash and money now. Ooh, la la. The money is pouring in, boys. Wow. Look at that. Our borders. We have Saudi Arabia. Iran, South Africa, part of Australia, and most of Japan. That's pretty good. Okay, let's get our army up, and I think we'll go after Iraq. Just because Russia's going after them. Russia's down to 8 million troops. How's Indonesia looking? 4 million still? Uh, I say we bite the bullet and go after Indonesia. Yeah. I say we try it. I don't know how well it's going to go, but you can always try. Nice. Oh, Indonesia has no army. We eliminated them all. What is the best Indonesian island? Is anyone going to go to war with us over Indonesia, though? That's the question. I don't think so. Oh, China's finally invading France. Oh, man. That should be me up there. I think China's going to lose a lot of troops, though. Oh, wow, no one joined. Besides Spain. And Spain's pathetic. Egypt's invading my territory? Egypt Egypt joined because of Indonesia. And they wiped my troops out completely. I literally have no troops. 
I have zero troops. That's not good. But you know what? I believe in comebacks. We're going after Russia. I think Moscow's around there, right? Yes, it is. 36 million to be in a peace treaty with goddamn Egypt? Egypt, when did you become such a big nation? Oh, and Indonesia is finally getting their territory back. Oh, are we about to connect all these borders? Oh, we were about to. Yeah, let's connect the borders. Oh, our borders are connected. Oh, hurry up and connect them before UK gets them. Oh, my goodness. Thank God. Nice. The glorious thing has happened. The United States has no troops. Operation Invade the United States is a go. And this is how you do it. Uh, Saudi Arabia has some of the worst borders, but you know, that's just how it goes. As long as we don't let China get in on the action, I think we should be fine. So we're gonna get the United States and then we're just gonna have to build up troops like nobody has ever done before. Oh, the UK is just going smack dab in between, in the middle. Good job, UK. See, you just want the territory in the middle and you'll take it. Yeah, I don't like you just taking the middle of what I was going after. So I'm at the war with UK just so they would bugger off my territory. And it's going to probably leave to some awfulness. That's okay. Yeah, about that. The UK has massed their entire army to come kill me now. I thought that was going to be a mistake. Yeah, that's not good. They have 20 million, so technically we are more powerful than them, but you know, still. Still, it's not amazing to have to go to war with them. Oh, who's all at war with us now? Okay, us going to war with the UK has made literally every European nation left go to war with us. So, we're just about to get absolutely gangbanged here. Look at them, they're all just running around us now. But we will go invade the UK, who has 26 million. Are they third? They are third. Holy cow. I like how we are going around through all our territory. I love that. That's just hilarious. Man, they're at 65. We have to take Europe now. That's what we have to do. We just have to take Europe. Oh, they just have so much territory. No. India, can you not? We have 56, China's at 96. Oh, I think China's gonna get it. Yeah, trans going after Spain. No, trans at 99.5. Per capita, we're doing so much better, though. Maybe we should have gone over Canada at the end. Well, guys, that was Dummy Nation. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and check out the game below. See you later. Bye.